So if you see the news here, you will see that many people reported that there were many websites going down worldwide. So what happened yesterday was that many, many websites went down and they all saw the same error, this one, 502, bad getaway. And at the bottom, it said Cloudflare. So some of these websites were a couple of newspapers, even down detector, which is used to check if a website is down. That website was down as well. Um, Medium, uh, Discord, Code Sandbox. So many big websites went down and they also the same message and they also the name Cloudflare there. So I maybe I thought I'd take this opportunity to explain to you what is Cloudflare, what happened yesterday, how fragile the internet is. And I'm going to talk to you about two things that Cloudflare does really well. They do many things, but they do two really well. First one, they are a CDN, which means content delivery network. And the other one, they are like a firewall for websites. So let's talk about the first one, CDN. So first let's make the example of what happens if you don't use a CDN. So this is your website over here, all right? And let's say your website is in this beautiful tiny land, South Korea, that I love with all my heart. All right, so our, your website is South Korea and it's amazing. And let's say that you have users from here, Southeast Asia, all right? But also you have a user in Brazil and also you have a user maybe here in Sweden, all right? So because your website, the server, the physical location of the server is in South Korea, physically, Sweden is far from South Korea and Brazil is even more far from South Korea. But Southeast Asia is not that far from South Korea. And let's say that all these three beautiful users go and request the homepage from your website, for example. Now this homepage includes HTML, some CSS, some images, some JavaScript, whatever, right? The users in Southeast Asia are going to get those, um, those assets faster than the users here in Sweden or the user in Brazil, poor person in Brazil, super far, right? This is because your website is just far and this is called latency. It means how far is, am I from the, the, the place where I wanna go, all right? And this could be in milliseconds. This could be 300 milliseconds. It could be one millisecond if it's, if, if, if it's super close. But the problem is that this happens and if you have a lot of users, it's not good for you since you wanna answer in the fastest way for everybody. You don't want to make the person from Sweden wait a little bit longer than the person from Southeast Asia. You want everybody to have access to your assets as fast as you can. So one thing that you could do would be to take your server with the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript, everything else, and you can say, all right, let's buy another server over here in, in Europe, and let's buy another server here in Argentina. So you're like, all right, that's okay. So now if somebody from Brazil comes, I'm not gonna send them to the South Korean server. I'm gonna send them to here, to the beautiful Argentina. The same thing with Sweden, the same thing with South Korea. So you could say this and this is like, all right, great. But that means that you have to come up with a system to replicate your code, replicate your assets among all these servers and you have to be paying for these servers. So it's like basically copy pasting your website two times in a different location. And that's expensive and it's complicated and who wants to do that? So that is not an option. Now, what Cloudflare does, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Cloudflare. What Cloudflare does is that they have the money and they have the servers that are everywhere, everywhere. And the moment you pay them, what you tell them is, yo, Cloudflare, my website, has these assets, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever. You, you say that to Cloudflare. Cloudflare will be the only one, or sort of, talking to your website like this. And Cloudflare is going to be the one replicating the assets from your website to all their other servers. And Cloudflare is going to automatically detect the location of the request and they're going to try to find the closest server. And if they find the closest servers, they're gonna redirect them to the closest server. And Cloudflare, again, will be responsible from replicating this, this HTML, CSS, everywhere else and keeping it out updated. So that's a content delivery network. It's just basically a server you use, somebody in front of you, and that person in front of you is the one in charge of replicating all the assets. That is a CDN and that is something that Cloudflare does 
really well and that's why many, many people use it. Now it's not, of course, it's not the only CDN. There are many other CDNs, but this is what Cloudflare does. Now, another thing that Cloudflare does is firewalls. This is your server here, your website, beautiful server. As you can see, it has the hearts. And this is a user, all right? Now, this user wants to connect to the server. You let him go, no problem. You give him what he wants and he goes away, beautiful. But then as you can see here, we have a hacker. You know it's a hacker because he has glasses and a mustache and a hat when he's programming. So you have a hacker and this hacker wants to get access to your server or he wants to send you some really weird files or he wants to send you many millions and millions of connections at the same time and that will kill your server, right? So that's a problem because now you're unprotected. So you will have to come up with a system again by yourself to detect which traffic is a, G a real um, user and which traffic maybe is somebody that just wants to crash your website, all right? And this is something again that Cloudflare does really well. So when you have Cloudflare in front of your website, if a legitimate user, somebody that is for real, they try to go to your website, Cloudflare is going to analyze the traffic, is going to see that it comes from a real source and it's going to redirect the traffic or route the traffic to your server. So nothing happens. But if these evil hackers with a mustache, they try to go to your website, Cloudflare is smart enough to realize that they're trying maybe to take it down Maybe the connections are not uh, legitimate. Maybe they have, um, I don't know, a bot connection and but whatever. And they will just not let the hackers get on with it and they will block the connection of the hackers. And this is where the error was yesterday. And this is where um, all those websites crashed. The content delivery network, as far as I, I understand, didn't crash. What crashed was the firewall in Cloudflare. The reason why it crashed is because they, I think they updated something and they deployed the updated, the update without testing or something happened. I don't know if somebody got fired and this thing that they deployed, the new software that they deployed just crashed the server completely. The CPU went up and the server just died. It couldn't process any other connections. So every time you were, go you were trying to access medium, or every time you were trying to access Discord or you were trying to access some crypto exchange or the newspapers that went down, you saw the error from Cloudflare. Because their firewall server was down, that meant that they couldn't redirect you to the real server that they were supposed to protect. Now, everybody makes mistakes and of course it was a stupid mistake, but they fixed it really well and it's not a big deal. But this is what happens, all right? This is how um, everything fell yesterday. And also this is how fragile the internet is. If you think about it, the internet, um, the internet is very, very, very fragile. Um, imagine if tomorrow Amazon web servers falls, Airbnb would go down, Uber would go down. I don't know if Google platform falls, many websites will go down. That's how fragile the internet is. And yesterday we saw a small, a small, uh, proof into how it looks when a big giant provider just falls. And that's cool. I think it's, it's a good thing. It's a good opportunity to learn. So that's what happened yesterday. And they went back up and now all the traffic went back to normal. All right, people, thank you for watching. I hope that you like this educational video. Let me know if you like this beautiful explanation that I have made for you. And that's it. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.